Ladies and gentlemen, today on your request I'm going to show you how to replace your floppy drive in your keyboard or workstation or synthesizer with one of these. Um, this is a USB floppy drive emulator. Um, you, it replaces your old floppy disk drive with a USB port so you can use a USB stick uh, instead of floppy drives. And I'm going to show you how to install it and um, how to format your um, USB stick and how to load and save data. Well. Okay, this is my EX5. I've opened the back cover or the bottom mm, the bottom cover of it. And you see I already removed the old floppy. And now I'm going to install the USB drive. It's not that hard actually. When you open the cover, um, you have to watch. Um, there are certain kind of uh, well, screws on there. I hope the camera focuses now. Let's see. Okay, when you turn around your keyboard, you will remove, need to remove all of this uh, in order to remove the cover. Okay? Now, <clears throat> when you install the floppy drive emulator, um, pl uh, place it around like this. This is the right direction. And um, when you connect the cables, um, see the small notch over here? I hope the camera is in focus. Um, this will have to face upwards. So there's also a small nozzle over here, or notch, uh, which matches the cables. So just take the cable, which is in your EX5 and was connected to the old floppy drive, and plug it in here. Carefully watching for the notches to match, okay? Whoops! -a. Okay. And there's also a power cable, This is, which is this one. Um, you have to connect it to this uh, small white uh, socket over here. Just like this. So let's see if we can get it into view. Yes, we can. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> there, that's it, done. Now just uh, align this floppy drive um, with uh, the holes for the screws and uh, well, then fix the screws. Like this. Well, this got to be the most interesting video ever. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> where's my screwdriver? Oh, it's here, okay. Hands shaking. Like always. Okay. And the next screw. That's a little bit uh, tricky to place the screws so they don't fall down. Uh, I advise you to use magnetic screwdrivers. They will hold... Ah, damn. I told you. They will hold the screws in place so they don't fall down while I try to plug them in here. Wow, this is difficult. A little bit fumbling required. Okay, well, that still doesn't align. Ah. Okay, hands shaking. Ah. Ah. Well. I'm certainly not born for this. <coughs> okay, and the last one. Let's see if we can get it in here. Oh. Get it aligned. Okay. Hmm, that's going to be difficult. Ah, 
Where's my Wookie and my Sonic screwdriver? Okay. It would be easier if I removed the plastic cover first, but I'm too lazy for that because removing the plastic covers is really, really complicated on the EX5. So I just do it like this. Okay, that looks okay to me, so now we can replace the cover. Here it is. Um, if you have a look at this, uh, the cover is shaped in a way that you have to put it in place in the front first. So lift it like this and uh, then place it in the front first and then let it slide down on the back so it sits comfortably. Okay, then be careful with the floppy drive uh, cover here. It's it looks very flimsy, so that you don't break it. Ah, okay, right. Um, be careful with uh, adjusting screws here so you don't break the cover. It's already broken on mine, so I have to be careful not to completely <laughs> destroy it. What? Okay, this one. Goes in here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to speed up the video now because, uh, uh, yeah, replacing the screws is thoroughly uninteresting. Uh, and yeah, let's go. screws are back in place now and well we can turn it on again turn it on turn it on okay the ex5 is uh, back online again and um, well let's insert in USB stick have a close look at this um, if you insert USB stick correctly the points, um, the small dots on here, will disappear. And um, this is uh, the signal for you that uh, the USB stick is inserted correctly. You have to push it a little bit harder, especially if it's formed like a Stormtrooper helmet, okay? And then um, there are two buttons over here, and you can push them to access the, uh, the virtual floppy drives which are stored onto this USB stick. For example, uh, now I've selected the 11th um, disc, or the 21st one, or 22nd, okay? Uh, it's straightforward, I think. No need to explain. And, um, well, let's have a look at the uh, EX EX5's um, uh, user interface, uh, how we can load and save uh, stuff onto the USB stick. Okay, here we have the EX5's user interface, and, um, well, the first thing you want to do is uh, press the disk button. Okay, so now I've pressed it. And let's have a look at the screen. It shows the menu. And well, the first thing I want to do is uh, load a patch or a patch set. Um, oh well, I'd, let's start again. Let's replace, for example, um, ah, I'm really a bit confused. Uh, let's press, uh, for example, the uh, I2 button which selects the internal bank 2 for your user created sounds and I'll just select a, 
a sound over here. Ah, come on, move camera. Yeah. No, I hope you can see it. Um, I've checked, uh, used, uh, selected the first um, patch in the first bank, and well, just move back here. Um, okay, let's focus manually. Okay, you can see. Um, it's named Equi. Uh, it's a horrible sound anyway. Okay, um, now once again press disk and back to the menu. Um, let's focus a little bit. Okay, I hope you can read this now. And uh, well, let's load a patch. Uh, for example, I'll press enter now on the keyboard and uh, well you can select a lot of things to load here and um, I will select voice press enter uh, camera enter and it will show you the contents of this disk and um, now you can see um, it shows you from floppy disk 0 this is your USB stick to voice all um, you probably don't want to do this because if you, you load all of this it will override override all of your existing patches so be careful with that so move the cursor down here and um, now it will read the contents of the floppy disk and show you the patches in this file so uh, just scroll here using the data entry wheel okay like this and um, well, here have we got um, all the patch names, um, and I will just take um, the false alarm, okay? And I will replace uh, my old patch Equi 1989. So let's load this. I'll answer yes by pressing the yes button. Now working. It will take some time because remember. Floppy disks are very slow and the USB port um, has, still has to take the USB, uh, floppy cable uh, path, so <laughs> it's still slow. Slow like a floppy disk. And well, here's my false alarm voice. Well, it's a beautiful sound. Well. Uh, that's it. Um, so you see it works quite good and um, last thing I'll need to do is to show you how to format your USB stick on your computer. So let's do that now. Okay, here we are at my wonderful Surface tablet and now just insert the USB stick like this. Okay, ah, there it is. No. <clears throat> As you can see, I've already opened my browser uh, and used Haha ha, Bing um, and used for USB floppy emulator, and um, it will show you two results. Uh, the first one is an Italian company named Catron. They've got a floppy emulator software for Windows, and uh, the second one is named Ipcas from Germany. Or Ipcas, I don't know. And um, well, I've preloaded both of the pages. Um, one of these softwares will work for you, so just try them both. And uh, well, I downloaded um, the version for Windows 7. And um, on this, uh, the version 1.40 worked for me, so I'll take this one too and download it. And, well, um, of course I've already got them installed, so um, I'll show you the version of IPCAS. Looks like this. And um, you can see I plugged my USB stick in previously and um, you, I've got 100 floppy disks on this uh, stick now. Uh, Label from 000 to 099, 
and well, it's enough storage for our needs. And um, in order to start, you have to plug in your USB stick and then format it. Um, be sure to select uh, 1.44 megabytes because that's what your EX5 or older keyboard needs from the end of the 90s. And um, well, then just begin to format. I won't do that because I've already done it. But once you're then, uh, once you're done with that, um, it will show you all of your floppy drives, and um, you can right-click one of these entries now and click on open. So now. Um, is the Windows Explorer and uh, it shows you the contents of this drive. So now you can add some data. For example, uh, let's add a file here. So I hope this is not too much for this drive. And um, I changed back to the software now. Now we've added um, this uh, file over here, you have to sync it to the USB drive. Right click, save. And now um, it's saved onto your USB stick. And you can continue like this, uh, just right click one of the floppy drives. Uh, the software will open that one for you. There it is. You can add or remove contents and then go back and write it. To the USB stick and that's it. Well and uh, then just take your USB stick and um, well uh, insert it into your old keyboard and you're good to go. Um, one last thing um, how to find these drives. Uh, you can uh, buy them from Catron or Ipcas but um, <laughs> I'm very sorry to those both companies. Um, you can also have a look on Amazon and look for USB floppy drive emulator. And uh, there are lots of results. And just take the cheapest one you can find. For example, this one for uh, 3199 is perfectly suited for you. Um, it also comes with its own software, but uh, be careful with the software. Um, the one I got contained malware or a virus. Um, yeah, better use your antivirus before you install that, okay? Um, that's it for today. And well, if you <laughs> found this interesting or helpful, Thanks for watching and um, yeah, I'd be delighted if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you next time.